Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett. We're kicking off our Manga Monday with a review of Radiant Volume 1 from Tony Valente. It's out soon from Viz Media, uh, retails for $9.99. Basically, if you like some fantasy, like a little Final Fantasy type story, you're probably going to dig Radiant. Uh, basically, this is kind of a little Final Fantasy mixed with uh, a little Pacific Rim, uh, some, I don't know, kind of like a Miyazaki a little bit uh, vibe to it. Basically, the story is there is a thing called uh, Nemesis. They fall from the sky and they just cause all kinds of problems, like destroy towns, stuff like that. Think of them as giant kaiju. Uh, all of them look very different, hence the Pacific Rim reference. Don't know where they're coming from. There's believed to be a nest of them somewhere. Again, hence Pacific Rim uh, reference, or, you know, why it reminds me. Uh, those nests are called Radiant. Uh, the story is about Seth. He's a, a wizard. Basically, the wizards in this world are survivors of these nemesis' attacks. Uh, basically, when those nemesis' attack, basically they give out like all this crazy energy, and if you survive that energy and don't die from it, uh, you wind up becoming a wizard, and you can uh, summon this uh, energy called Fantasia, which is kind of like the, you know, uh, you know, t tapping energy sort of thing. You see it in a lot of, like, magic-type things. Um... And, uh, basically, if you become a wizard, you also get a negative thing, um, and that is called the corruption and infection. Uh, in this case, Seth's, uh, infection is that he has, like, two little horns, some people smell funny, uh, some people might get, like, really angry quickly, um, all kinds of different, uh, infections and corruptions that could happen. Really interesting concept, really dig it. Um, so going into this, like, I'm not the biggest fantasy person. You know, I, I enjoy Final Fantasy video games. I uh, kind of get bored with them. I've enjoyed some fantasy here and there, but like things like Game of Thrones don't really interest me a whole lot. Uh, uh, never Ending Story was number one, something I was really into. Just like that high fantasy, fantasy sort of world, it's just not something I'm, I'm totally into. I think maybe the one thing I was really into back in the day was Battle Chasers. And this kind of reminds me of Battle Chasers a little bit. It still it has that like goofy energy vibe with humor to it. I really really enjoy it. Um, basically, this is this is good. Like I I'm digging this. As I said, like I'm not a big fantasy person, but this is one I, I really enjoy. Um, again, also manga isn't necessarily my big thing, so I can't go out there and compare it to others that of quality of all that. I can just really compare it to itself, which is probably a good thing. Uh, basically, like, if someone put this in my hands, I'd be really happy I made this purchase. One, I think manga is always a great price, $9.99, it's like, it's pretty cheap for what you get, you know, it's 160, 170-something pages, 172, 174 pages are in here, um, takes us through the nice story to begin with, it's, it's excellent, like, it's really entertaining, there's some great humor to it, um, you get all the players to it, this nice settings, each setting's kind of cooler than the next, yeah, really great action, um, just, it's just a fantastic introduction to the world, uh, the setting, the rules, everything, like, you just get it from the main story, it flows really well, um, it's a fantastic introduction. Uh, the art is cool, uh, let's get, let's see if I can find some really cool art to it. Yeah, well, let's, let's go with this. You know, it doesn't necessarily have, like, that over-the-top manga, um, action that you see in some others, but it's, it's a solid design, it really looks pretty neat, um, I like it, like, I like it a lot, it's, it's a nice series, it's entertaining, um, and I'm digging it. Basically, if you enjoy fantasy, if you enjoy the idea of uh, this magical world, want to try something new, this kind of mix of Final Fantasy and Pacific Rim, some couple other things uh, together, you're probably going to enjoy this. This is, I think, a solid read, entertaining. I like it. The character's really nice. Um, there's a world of entertainment in the corruptions and seeing what all those are like, so I highly recommend this. This media hooked us up with this review copy. Really appreciate it. I'll be out soon from them. We're going to have some links to comic shops where you can purchase this. Uh, you go put your zip code in the link. It'll tell you if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links. The affiliate links, we do get a small percentage, but you know, you support our site that way. But go and support your comic shop first and foremost. Comic shops are the bread and butter, most important thing you can ever think of uh, to support comics and manga and all that. Uh, so go support them. No no one of them can then hit up the affiliate link. I want to thank Ms. For us, or Viz for hooking us up with the review copy. As always, appreciate it. And we like to be transparent when we get uh, stuff for free to review. Uh, if you're into manga, comics in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, 
all that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading that manga, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.